Ten laps to go here in the Centurion Boats at the Glen. Who's it going to be? Kyle Busch dominated and won at Infineon. Can he hold on? Tony Stewart, his teammate, right behind him. How about the ultimate underdog, Australian Marcus Ambrose, back in third spot with a hungry one, Pablo Montoya, behind him. Here comes Ambrose, and Montoya will try to dive under him in turn one. Ambrose did a good job of keeping Montoya back there so far, and that's going to be important that he can do that up through the S's. See cars getting out of shape back here through turn one. We see Marcus up through the S's here. Getting up to this, uh, to the inner loop is going to be very important. His car seems to be good after he gets uh, just this part of the, the race gone uh, after a restart, Andy. I thought he did a great job right there on, uh, in a defensive move going into turn one to keep this 42 car from getting inside. That's a good job through here, through this inner loop. Boy, when you can pull Juan Pablo Montoya coming off a, a road course, you've done something. Our Wrangler telemetry on board with Montoya's Dodge. Wow, 160 plus miles an hour in that short shoot there going into turn 10. Yeah, fast road course. Shannon, what a job Jimmy Elledge has done with A.J. Allmendinger. This could be his career best finish. He is ninth right now. So since Jimmy Elledge has come over there, this young man could have uh, two top ten finishes in just three races. But I want to talk a little bit about uh, Marcus Ambrose, a young, young man who's uh, third right now and started back in 43rd. Has he, in essence, already won? I mean, has Marcus Ambrose done what he wanted to do today, come from 43rd to 3rd? Or should he now get even more aggressive and try to do something with those front two guys? Well, I think you ought to go for it. I've been calling him the winner <laughs> since the start of the race, and I want him to go for it. I think he's got a shot. He's got a car that can win it. Uh, but, yeah, he has already won. He's, he's run a great race. He's kept his car clean. He's passed a lot of race cars today. And they've had great strategy in the pits. So this team's really won already today, no matter what. Yeah, they've done a great job. Uh, congratulations to the Wood Brothers. They needed something good like this to happen. Marcus Ambrose was just the medicine that they were looking for. He does a terrific job on these road courses. Their pit strategy was great. David Hyder's done a good job in the pits and preparing this race car for them. So it's a win for them. I don't know how aggressive he needs to get out there with this. I mean, I know he wants to win the race, but let's be careful and not make something bad out of what's been a, a really great weekend for him. You've always been one to go to young drivers or such a new drivers that come into the Cup Series and say you need to come in and earn the veterans respect. Now, does he earn more respect by staying back there and racing him clean and finishing third? Or does he earn respect from Tony Stewart and Kyle Busch by rubbing them a little bit and passing them for the win? Well, I think as long as he does it without wrecking them, you know, if he's going to go wreck them, then that's a whole different story. And I don't think that he's going to do that. He's not that type of driver or person. So I don't think that we're going to see that at him. Is he above going after them and, and rubbing them if he gets that opportunity? If they open the door just a little bit, sure, he's going to stick his nose in there. And those guys are going to appreciate and understand that. We also heard him say in the pre-race show that he didn't want to get in there and mix it up with these guys. The guys that were running for points, like Tony Stewart, he's got a lot to lose. If he happened to knock Tony Stewart out of this race, it would really hurt his chances to make the chase. Marcus knows that. I don't think he's going to do that. Uh, on the other hand, Kyle Busch, he's leading the points, and he's just trying to get some more bonus points. But I don't think I don't think Marcus Ambrose is going to do anything dumb here. And I will say this. After Marcus Ambrose won the race here yesterday, the NASCAR Nationwide Series race, he was in victory lane, and the driver who finished second was Kyle Busch. Kyle got out of his car in the garage area, walked all the way down to victory lane, and personally shook hands with everybody on that team, including uh, Marcus Ambrose, and, and gave him uh, uh, congratulations on that win. We see that time down there on the screen. That's how long we've been under red flag. That's a lot of time that you can get these cars to cool down. The tires have had a lot of time to cool down. Man, we had a big mess to clean up here. Here's what happened. There was contact between the double zero and the 38. Now watch Gillen's car come right across right in front of the 43 of Bobby Labonte. He gets hit from behind and comes across the 77 of Hornish, just slams the barrels broadside. Thankfully, they were there in all nine different cars involved. We're going to see all of them get pretty aggressive right here. Kyle Busch has been really good on these restarts, making sure that he got his tires clean, got up through the gears, and didn't let anybody uh, make a move on him down into turn one. We'll see if that can happen again here with five laps to go if they get to the line. Watch at 21 and the 42. Will they lag back and try to get a run on Stewart in turn one? They come down. It'll be five to go. Green flag for Kyle Busch, who takes off and pulls Tony Stewart by eight car lengths. Here comes Marcus 
Marcus Ambrose to the inside and Truex. No contact in one. Truex to the inside of Montoya trying to take the spot away and he will have it exiting turn one. I think Montoya was trying to make a move on Marcus Ambrose on the outside and that just opened the door for Truex. Yeah, Ambrose didn't get started off really good. He, he seems to have a hard time right there getting started initially, and that's that opened up the outside for those guys, but that cost uh, Juan Pablo right there. Juan Pablo Montoya last lap by turned the best lap among the leaders, a 73.3, a tenth quicker than Kyle Busch or Stewart, but uh, can he get there? Yeah, but the top Tony six Stewart. are all in the 73 second bracket. And Tony see, Stewart's under attack right here. Yeah. Marcus Ambrose knows he's got two laps to get a shot. Tony Stewart. Remember, Marcus said, I don't want to impact the drivers in the chase, but boy, would he love to be able to get one shot at the 18 car. And those top six were all in the 73 second bracket, but Tony was about the slowest of those, so he's struggling a little bit as yeah, they go back. You can see him right here. Getting in the corner. Looks like his car is really loose getting in the corner. And it'll be really white, fighting. white flag for Kyle Busch this time by. Now, will Ambrose make a move on Tony going into right, one? Man, here it is. White flag. I don't think he's close enough to make the move this time, but the thing that he, Marcus doesn't want to happen is for him, Tony to slow him down enough that the Juan Pablo can get to his back bumper. Uh, looking on the inside. Now, Ambrose is really good in the S's, and coming out of the S's is where Tony Stewart, the 20 car, struggled a moment ago. Although Tony now pulls him a little bit this time by. Trouble, Jeff Gordon involved. There's Sam Hornish. It's like Gordon's been around backwards. That's why that roof flap is up. Just drove it in there a little too hard. He didn't hold it there. Gordon back in 25th position. Rudeman trying to get by him. Here is the final lap for Kyle Busch trying to come down to get his eighth win in 2008. So Ambrose behind. now has Montoya right on his rear bumper for third spot. Will Montoya make a move in 10? Ambrose covers a spot. One more turn for the battle for third. Kyle Busch will come down out of turn 11 and take the checkered flag. Tony Stewart is second. And third spot, what a performance by Marcus Ambrose from 43rd spot. Juan Pablo Montoya will finish fourth, Truex fifth, and Kevin Harvick will come home in sixth position. Jimmy Johnson back up to seventh On spot. On winning. Think about this for a week, boys. That's a road racer right there, boys. Kyle Busch sweeps both NASCAR Sprint Cup events on road courses in 2008 in dominant fashion. He led four times for 52 laps today. His third cup start and Marcos Ambrose brings it home third. Marcos, take us through your day. Just a long day. We used that car up. I had no clutch left, no brakes left, and, uh, you know, I was worn out. Just uh, coming through the field like that's really hard work. We, we overused the car early in the race just to try and get track position, but just great fun racing those guys at the front. They really looked after me, and, and I've got to thank them, you know, because it would be easy to send me off into the weeds uh, with that rookie stripe on the back, but it's been a, been a lot of fun, and it's just been a real blast. The Wood Brothers have had a, a great car for me both times at, at, the, at the road courses, and i just got to thank them and, and uh, Little Debbie and the McKee family for giving me the chance to go cup racing. Guys, he came from 43rd position. Who says you can't pass on a road course, right? Kangaroo meets his nickname, and he hopped right by him early on and got all the way up to third spot. Your final thoughts on what we saw, particularly that Marcus Ambrose performance? Uh, just a, a great performance. Uh, the, the man is a road racer extraordinaire. He did a fantastic job. I wouldn't have thought that you could come from 43rd to third, but he proved me wrong. Showed that you can do it with a good car and a lot of talent. And this young man right here, what a great day. What a great weekend for Marcus Ambrose. He won yesterday, finished third today. A lot to be happy about.